Hey, you thinking what I'm thinking? Calvi play lunch? Chee hoo, Calvi play lunch. What's up everybody? I'm Zach, I'm just a simple chef, and I just wanna say thank you for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. Like the content, please hit the like button. If you'd enjoyed this very much, hit the subscriber button and hit the little bell so you won't miss any notifications about me posting a video. I post every Friday. And if you have any comments or questions, make sure you post them down below. What's up everybody? So today we're going to be doing Calbee. Oh. oh, that's a big stretch, huh? Oh, he's... my dog just did a big old stretch. So we're doing Calbee today. We got frozen Calbee bones here, or ribs as people call them. So we're gonna go ahead and soak them in water and we're gonna soak them for like an hour because we wanna pull out all the blood from the meat and also defrost them while we're doing that. And then when we put them in the marinade, they'll really soak in that marinade. It's gonna be really good, really tasty. All right, so taking out the Calbee ribs, putting them in the bowl, and we're gonna fill this up with water and get it defrosted. And as we're letting this soak in the water, you wanna periodically rinse it. I know I didn't show that here, but you know, every 20 minutes, dump out the water, put new fresh water in. All right, so we got the cowboy bones soaking. We're gonna go ahead and while we're waiting for those to soak, we're gonna prep the marinade. It's gonna be really good. It's a soy, soy sauce based or shoyu, and it's got a lot of ingredients and it's gonna be really good. It's gonna really tenderize the calvi meat and give it really good flavor when we grill it off. All right, so here's our ingredients. We're gonna use a half an onion. I already have a half an onion, so I'm not gonna cut into that one. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the bowl. And I have leftover green onions. Put that in there. And we're gonna use a thumb size knob of ginger. We're gonna use a whole Korean pear and four cloves of garlic. Or f five cloves of garlic. You just wanna peel the skin off the ginger, put in the five cloves of garlic, peel the Korean pear, cut it up into little bits, take out the core. Super simple, nothing crazy. Once we got everything all chopped up and in the bowl, we're going to be blending everything together. Now that we got all of the ingredients in the bowl, we're gonna get it into the blender. We're gonna add our liquids and get it all blended up and emulsified and brought together and set it aside until the cow blue bones are ready. All right, so getting everything into the blender, Get it all in there. And then we're gonna do one cup of water. Get that in the blender. We're gonna do one cup of shoyu into the blender. And then we're gonna do one cup of sugar and get it into the blender. We wanna make sure we pulse it. Make sure everything's moving in there. And then blend it up. And we wanna blend this up really fine. All right, so we got it into our bowl and we're gonna add about three tablespoons of black pepper. Get that mixed together. And then we're gonna add about one tablespoon of MSG. You don't have to put the MSG if you don't want to, but it adds a very umami flavor to the marinade. Get everything mixed together. And then we're gonna get the Calbee into a Ziploc bag and pour the marinade into the bag. We wanna make sure that we add a little bit at a time and get it worked in there, massage it into the meat. And then we're going to put it in the bowl and put it in the refrigerator. 
Sometimes Ziploc bags leak, so I like to leave it in a bowl. What's up, everybody? Okay, so it's the next day. The Calbee's been marinating all night in the marinade that we made. So we're gonna go ahead and get it out of the bag. We're gonna get it panned up and we're gonna take it to the grill. It's gonna be amazing. All right, so just taking out the Calvi out of the bot bag. Get into the bowl. Yeah, look at that. Then uh, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna turn on our grill. We wanna make sure that the grill is on and covered so that it can get hot. All right, so now that we got the grill on, we're gonna get it hot, then we're gonna clean it, and then we're gonna let it sit for a little bit because we wanna make sure that we preheat the grill to probably 450, 500 before we get the cow bones on there. All right, so now we're just cleaning the grill with a grill brush. And then while we wait for this to heat up to temperature, we're gonna go ahead and prep our garnishes. So we're gonna be doing just a, about a half a cabbage. And we're gonna just finely slice that up. And we wanna get it into a bowl and then we wanna cover the cabbage all the way with water. gonna help give it some texture and kind of like clean it a little bit now we're taking our leftover marinade and straining it and we want to strain it really well and then we're gonna get that on the side burner on our grill and we're gonna cook that down until it's thickened and we can use that over the Calbi as you see here we got it on the side there Got the grill all ready to go. Got the Calbi ready to go. And we're just gonna go ahead and place everything onto the grill. And do our best not to move the meat. So with the Calbi, you don't want to move it once you put it on the grill, you wanna let it sit for a little bit. All right, so we're boiling down the marinade here to make like a little thickened sauce. Oh my, look at those. They're looking great. We're gonna give them a flip. Put the cover back down. Give them another few minutes. We're gonna pull them off. Man, they look good. All right, time to do the last bit of Calvi. Same method, cook it on one side for a few minutes and flip it, cook it on the other side and you're good to go. All right, so with the first batch, I didn't get the grill hot enough. So you can learn from my mistakes. You want to make sure the grill is as hot as you can get it before you put the cow bee bones on there. You're not going to get the good marks. Or use a charcoal grill, gas. I'm not a big fan of gas grills. I like charcoal grills a lot more. What a love bee, boys. 
I'll have the cow be plate lunch. I'll have the same thing he's having. All right, so we're gonna put the cabbage down and then the cow bee. Make it all symmetrical. We're gonna do some toasted sesame seeds, a little bit of scallions, and there you have it, cow bee ribs. Man, do they look good. Okay, this is your side of mac, your rice, and your cow bee. Your side mac and your rice. And this looks so good, thank you. Oh, this looks animal. Thank you. No worry, you guys, you're welcome. Enjoy. All right, so this is the cow bee plate lunch. I just wanna thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. And stay tuned next Friday for another great recipe.